Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel ESP Daniela. So for today's video, as you already know by the title, I will be discussing a hundred things that you probably need as you are moving into your college dorm or apartment. And this video will be covering 10 different categories, which are as follows, technology, clothes slash laundry, bedding, school supplies, bathroom, uh, kitchen slash food, organization, cleaning, safety slash health, and miscellaneous. So that's all 10 categories that will be covered within this video. So let's just get started. Now I will say that not everything mentioned in this video are things that you necessarily need, but rather things that you should consider getting to make your life easier. And if you are wanting the full list of everything that I have mentioned in here, simply just follow me on my Instagram, DM me that you will like the list, and then I will send it to you. That's how you can get all full access to this with hyperlinks to everything that was mentioned. Now, as for the first category, which is technology, I have all of this listed on my phone. So I'm just going to go right down the list and also explain as to why you may need these certain things. So first we have noise cancellation earphones and also earplugs. Um, the thing about college housing or just housing in general is that a lot of times the walls are very thin. And if you're studying or trying to go to bed and the people next door are being loud, like they're blasting music or doing some stuff late at night, you don't want to, you don't want to hear that. So it really helps to have some noise cancellation earphones. I personally use the Bose earbuds. They are really, really good. I literally cannot hear anything when I have them on. So next up, we have getting an external hard drive or even a flash drive. Of course, it's always helpful to have online drives as well, like using Google Drive or OneDrive or whatever it may be. But it is also helpful to have those physical drives because sometimes with online drives, it takes a long time for them to like export or download certain things that you may need a lot faster, especially if you're majoring in something like I was, which was um, media arts slash broadcast journalism. And I had a lot of videos to edit and video files can be really, really big and having that all compiled on an online drive it is just not ideal. So make sure you get a hard drive or a flash drive if you don't already have one. Another helpful thing to have is a dual charger outlet so that you can charge multiple things all at the same time with the same device. And on top of that, you probably need a surge protected outlet. So when I was an RA, a resident assistant at my university, uh, there were certain types of outlets that were allowed and not permitted. Um, that was like a fire safety hazard or whatever. So make sure to look into getting a surge protected outlet. And on that note, when you are getting those outlets, it is helpful to have them to be at least six feet long, because a lot of times with college housing, um, they don't have enough wall outlets for you to use. And so if your bed is like on this side, but the outlet is like on the other corner of your room, it's going to be kind of hard to charge your devices like your laptop and your phone. So make sure to get an extra long one. The same can be said for getting extra long chargers for your phone and your laptop and not limiting yourself to only one charger for each device. Try to have two because like, let's say that your phone charger or your laptop charger suddenly goes out. Well, how are you going to charge your devices? That's why it's good to have a backup already on hand. Another type of charger that is always helpful to have is a portable charger that you can charge beforehand and carry with you wherever you want to go. And I would say that this is especially helpful for like athletes or even people who are in marching band. I was in marching band back in high school. And when we had away games, everyone was trying to find the nearest outlet to charge their phone. And I never had to worry about that because I always had my portable charger with me. So make sure you get that. Okay. Okay, so some other helpful things to consider getting include a desk lamp, a phone tripod, um, additional phone cases because yours might suddenly break or just get really dirty. Let's see, a phone wallet so you can have like your student ID in there or quick access to your debit and credit cards. Oh, a phone pop-up back, which is basically what I'm using like right now. It's very convenient, especially if you're prone to dropping your devices and you don't want to break it. And lastly, within the tech category, I would say it is very helpful to have a ring light of some sort. There are ones that can easily attach to the top of your phone or the top of your laptop. And this is helpful. Like, let's say that you're on a Zoom call for class or work. Well, you can still have good lighting without having to get up out of your bed to turn on the light in your room. So you can just be lazy like me and get your stuff done. 
Okay, so now on to the second category, which is clothes slash laundry. So for me, I prefer to use laundry pods over liquid or powder. And the reason for this is that I, when I'm using powder or liquid, I just kind of go, go at it. I, I know there's a measuring cup and everything on how much you should use per load, but I just keep on pouring and pouring. So to help myself not go out of my product so quickly, it is just more helpful for me to go ahead and get laundry pods instead. It's also helpful to have those tied to go sticks of where let's say you randomly get a stain on your shirt, but with this stick, you can just automatically wipe it off and you don't have to like cover it up throughout the day because it might be embarrassing to show. And then there's lint rollers, especially if you are someone who has like pets, for example. When I go over to my old roommate's apartment, she has like two cats over there and I get cat fur all over me and it's just so noticeable. So it really helps to have a lint roller in your room and also like if you have a car in there as well or your backpack or purse. So obviously when it comes to laundry, you're going to need a laundry basket, but I would recommend that you get either those rolling baskets or those baskets that can turn into a backpack as well. Because if you're doing a very, very heavy load and the laundry mat or the laundry room in your dorm or apartment is like really far, it's going to be heavy. It's going to be hard in your arms, especially if you're like kind of weak like me. So make sure to get those ones that can turn into a backpack or that can roll. Some other helpful things to have, of course, hangers. You also want to have additional hangers because you more than likely will be shopping for new clothes. And when you shop for new clothes, a lot of times they just keep the hanger with them because they assume you have some at home. And so if those clothes that you just bought are the type that need to be hung up, it's helpful to already have some in your closet. Some obvious things that you're going to need are like belts, underwear, socks, also house shoes. I personally cannot operate within any house or living setting without walking with my house shoes. Um, I do not walk with my indoor shoes. I just feel so dirty when I do that. So if you can, make sure to get house shoes. Your floors will thank you for it. It leaves them a lot cleaner. And as far as clothing, you want to take into consideration the climate of where your school is. So my school is based in the South, specifically Texas. So when I'm packing for the fall semester, I'll bring with me like 70 to 80% of summery type of clothing, like short sleeves and everything. And then the other 20 to 30% will be clothing for if it suddenly gets cold. But if you're in a place of where it is cold the majority of the time, no matter the season, then you probably want to do the reverse of that. I also want to talk about themed clothes, which are like if you have to suddenly go to a costume party for Halloween or themed clothes as in um, the school spirit shirts. I will tell you this right now, you more than likely do not need to buy um shirts from your university because almost every single week they have some sort of event on campus where you can get that for free. Almost all the shirts I have in my closet for my university, I never bought. I just got them for free at events. And a lot of times when you're trying to buy them from your school, they're overpriced anyway. They'll be selling them for like $49.99. So now let's talk about bedding, which is so important because I do everything from my bed. So first, consider getting a mattress protector um, a mattress topper or pad because a lot of times these beds are not very comfortable to sleep in at night. Um, obviously sheets, um, an extra blanket, a picnic blanket if you want to be out um, on campus in the middle of the grass with your friends having a little study group, you know, similar to those pictures they post online advertising for people to go to their university. Uh, let's see, extra throw pillows, only limit yourself to like two or three um, a memory foam pillow, like the main one you sleep in primarily at night. Oh, let's see here. Oh yeah, a duvet cover, uh, bed suspenders. So bed suspenders are basically, you know how when you're sleeping at night and one corner of your sheet suddenly like untucks itself, well with a suspender, it keeps it in place so you don't have to constantly redo it like every single morning. Oh yeah, and tying back to sheets, I recently learned this, that there are sheets that have uh, pockets built into it, which can be so helpful. And you can just like put your phone in there or a remote in there, whatever it may be. Or if you can't find sheets like that, you can instead get those bedside um, under pocket thingies. I don't really know what they're called, but I guess I'll just put a picture here so you know what I'm talking about. So for this next category, I will be talking about school supplies. And honestly, this will be very brief because what you need for school supplies varies from person to person. Everyone has their own a learning style. Like if you're someone who does like a lot of physical notes and you're probably going to need more school supplies, but I do a lot of digital notes. So I don't really need much of any school supplies. And also when it comes to college, 
in general, you just need significantly less school supplies because like you don't need a whole crayon box and color pencils and all these other things because a lot of things are at the end of the day, just digital. But some things that are always helpful to have include tape, not only um, normal tape, but also packaging tape, because if you have to suddenly send out a package to your family or whoever it may be, it's helpful to already have that. A mini stapler and like a normal size stapler. The mini stapler you can bring with you to class. I honestly need to take this advice for myself because there were so many times of where I had papers due for my grad classes and my professor, he required everything to be printed out and stapled and I had to go to the front desk of my apartment just to staple it. Uh, so make sure to have a mini stapler already on hand. Um, scissors, you want to have scissors not only for like cutting paper or whatever, but also scissors for your kitchen if you're cutting meat or whatever you're cooking. And obviously pens and pencils. Now I know that a lot of teachers say that you can't use mechanical pencils on scantrons, but I literally have been using mechanical pencils on them for years and it still grades everything properly. I don't know where that came from, but it works. So, oh, and speaking of scantrons, when you're taking like an exam or test within your class, so sometimes you will have to buy the scantrons yourself so you can easily access this via your campus's bookstore or your professor will just provide them for you. Brief intermission here. I hope that this has been helpful so far. If you really want to increase your chances of winning scholarships then consider enrolling in my online course, The Scholarship Algorithm. It gives you a step-by-step -step strategy on how to go about the overall scholarship process the most effective way possible, increasing your chances of winning by 10 times more. Here are some of the people who have won as a result of the course videos. Additionally, the course also comes with my book by the same title, The Scholarship Winning Likelihood Calculator, and my personalized services if you want to add that on too. See, if I had something like this back when I was a senior in high school, there is no doubt in my mind that I would have gotten a full ride scholarship right off the bat. No questions asked. And for those watching this video, you can get 25% off the basic master course with this promo code. Okay, now back to the main video. So next up is the bathroom. Consider getting a shower caddy, especially if you are living in a place with a community bathroom. Shower shoes and flip-flops are a must. Again, if you are living in a place with a community bathroom or even like a suite bathroom, this is so very needed. Obviously having a toothbrush and toothpaste, and I would actually um, advise you to have two, like one that's always in your backpack if you suddenly want to spend the night at a friend's house and um, one that's always in your apartment or dorm. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, soap. I prefer to use liquid soap over bar soap. Now I know that bar soap lasts longer than liquid, so to make up for that with my liquid soap, I like to buy that in bulk rather than buy um, the container. And plus that helps with saving the environment a little. And lastly, for this category, it might be helpful to also consider getting a, a bathroom lock or door lock, because let's say that you are assigned to a dorm with a suite bathroom. So it's like you and your roommate and then these other two roommates. And in between that is a bathroom that all four of you share or how many roommates there are. Typically with suite bathrooms, they are not allowed to have a lock on either side. And so if your roommate on the other side suddenly has someone over who you perhaps are not comfortable with, it might be helpful to have that detachable lock that you can put on and off. So now let's get into kitchen slash food. So what I like to do when buying my groceries for college, um, I tend to buy mine online. I do most of my grocery shopping via walmart.com. And I typically buy just about everything like great value or equate, you know, like the store brand, because at the end of the day, a lot of these things that are being manufactured um, by these brands, I hope that makes sense, but I have saved hundreds of dollars every single year by doing this with my groceries. And it saves me time as well, because a lot of times the nearest grocery store to your university is super crowded and super picked over with options. So if you can buy your groceries in advance and then have them sent to where you live or pick them up at their pickup center, then that will save you a lot of time. So some other things to consider getting are fridge organizers. Now this is more so if you have like a full size fridge as opposed to those mini fridges. Uh, let's see, a George Foreman grill is helpful, especially for me. Uh, an air fryer, 
Now, again, I used to work in housing and using an air fryer was one of those few appliances that residents were allowed to buy and have in their rooms. That wasn't considered a safety or fire hazard. So consider getting that. Uh, let's see, microwave, obviously, coffee maker. So many people spend so much money at Starbucks to get five to eight dollar coffees every single morning when they easily could just be making their own at home and saving a lot of money. So if you're someone who constantly has coffee, consider just getting a coffee maker. And tying back to drinks, it is also helpful to have a Brita water filter. And I can plug in a video showing um, what my Brita looks like. So I have like the full size pitcher and also the flask. And it is so helpful to have because again, some of these apartments and dorms, they're really old and their water filtration is not the best. It might turn different colors, so it is helpful to have um, this instead so your water is always clean and not contaminated. And then some other things include obviously dishes and cups, but not too many of these. You probably only want like four of each. So like for you and if you have like three other friends over and if you're going to have more friends over than that, you can also get like paper or plastic cups and plates. Uh, Ziploc bags, you want the mini ones and also like the bigger ones. And finally, it might also be helpful to get a toaster. Now on to organization. So I use a lot of wall tacks and when I buy wall tacks, I typically like to get the ones that are clear. So, you know, it's not as noticeable that it's a wall tack. And as you can see in my background, all these posters I have are simply using wall tacks. At first I was using like the putty and putting it on each corner, but then I was like leaving stains on the wall or it was like very hard to scrape off. So I found that just using wall text instead was a lot easier. Uh, let's see, command strips are also helpful. I have some more posters in my room. Some of them are also using command strips. Uh, when you're buying command strips, make sure to really read up on what weight it can hold because some are stronger than others. Also consider getting an ottoman, which is basically like those split stools that you can open up and put your books or miscellaneous items. Uh, let's see, tote bag, shoe rack, um, a big backpack, as well as a drawstring backpack, uh, hanging storage. So if you're someone like me who wears a lot of jewelry and you don't want that all to get tangled up, I bought this really cool thing on Amazon of where I can easily have all of my earrings and all of my necklaces organized without having to worry about that just hanging in my closet. And I believe it was only like a little over $10, which is fairly affordable. Drawer organizers. So if you have like a lot of socks and underwear and you put that in the same shelf as the one that has your pajamas, it helps to have that separated so you know where everything is. And the last three things for this particular category include a storage rolling cart which can basically be like a rollable nightstand if you don't already have one. Um, a foldable shelf, which can be a nightstand as well and is very easy to um, move in and move out of your apartment or dorm. And uh, a shelf lamp. So over here in my room, I have a shelf lamp and it is so convenient and the light looks very cute. It creates a very warm lighting to my room. Now let's talk about cleaning, which is so important. So I have found it to be super helpful to have a mop that is specifically only for um, cleaning your tub, cleaning your tub in your bathroom. So when I was at Walmart, I got like this off-brand version of a Swiffer Wet Jet. And to clean my tub, I actually don't use like typical cleaning detergent, cleaning liquids or whatever. I use dishwashing soap because it really does get the job done even better actually than cleaning liquids for some reason. And I learned this hack because I follow a lot of cleaning TikToks. And by the way, that is so educational. Make sure that you're following Clean Talk on TikTok. Another thing you should consider having is a vacuum, but not just a floor vacuum, but also a handheld vacuum because there might be certain cobwebs in the corners of your room that is better to get as opposed to a vacuum that's only designated for floor cleaning. Oh yeah, air fresheners air purifiers, um, a scrubber, sponges, several sponges, make sure to get them in bulk. A toilet plunger, not every dorm or apartment is equipped with one. Sometimes it's already in there, but the other half of the times it's not. Uh, the specific toilet liquid that's needed to unclog a toilet. Speaking of unclogging toilets, oh my gosh, when I was an RA, 
this resident, he had explosive diarrhea. You know, I'm not going to talk about that. Never, let's move on. And finally, um, trash bag slash a trash can. Now, sometimes housing will already equip you with a trash can, but not so much trash bags. And honestly, actually, you want to buy your trash bags once you get to your apartment or dorm because you don't know what size trash can that they provide, if they even provide it in the first place. So to make sure that you don't buy a bag that's too big or too small, check the size of it first and then go to Walmart or wherever it may be to get it. Next, we have safety and health. Tying back to what I said earlier, having that door lock contraption that you can easily detach and put on, um, consider getting that. Also, there's pepper spray window breakers, alarms. Uh, I got this thing on Amazon of where all of those things were compiled onto it. And also having a taser can be helpful. Uh, let's see, a mini umbrella, a sunscreen, of course your medicine and a first aid kit, uh, feminine products like pads, tampons, liners, things like that. Also a fan if possible. So like a mini fan that you can have at your desk or those water fans that you can bring with you, which is super helpful if you're like out in the sun all day at a football game and it gets really, really hot um, that I literally would not have survived had I not brought that with me. Bug spray, not only for roaches, but also for wasps. I have lived in two places before my dorm when I was an RA and my apartment of where there were wasps. And tying back into medication, consider getting some vitamin C, vitamin D pills, and melatonin if you're someone who struggles with sleeping. Okay, so finally at the last category, this has been a long video. So as for the last category, which is miscellaneous, some things to consider getting are mints over gum. See, I personally, whenever I buy gum, it doesn't last me like a week because I constantly just keep getting another one to chew on. So mints last a lot longer for me. Um, a keychain for all your keys, a makeup organizer, a hair supply. Some of us need more hair supplies than others. A small mirror, big mirror, like a long full body mirror. A tool, uh, a tool kit, uh, nail clippers, plants. Now I like to get fake plants because in the past I I did not really take care of my plants like I should have and they just kind of died. And if you are moving into somewhere where it doesn't really get good lighting, it's going to die. So make sure to get fake plants instead if that's your situation. Uh, let's see, rugs. So not only like a big general rug for your room, but also a rug that's specific to your bathroom and a rug that's um, under your sink if you're in the and a rug that's under your sink. Uh, let's see, kitchen mats, curtains, curtain rod, uh, a futon if you have uh, a futon, if perhaps you expect to have like guests over somewhat frequently, it might be helpful to have that if they're going to spend the night or whatever. Uh, let's see, travel size containers, if you're spending the night at someone's house or going back home for the weekend or something like that. Uh, a suitcase weigher. Now this tip is more so for those students who are like out of state, not from the state that they're currently studying in. And so you don't want to be at the airport and then someone at TSA says, oh, your suitcase is too, it weighs too much. You have to take some things out, but everything you have in there is essential to you. So you don't want that to happen. Mood lights, that helps with creating more of an ambiance, an essence, an aesthetic for your room. And yeah, I think that's my, um, it's my full list. Anywho, I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram and watch my other videos for this college advice related series. And oh gosh, that popped. And my scholarship related series. Bye.